Good morning, friends in Nav, here in Scale Land. Welcome to a beautiful Sunday morning. And before we get to watching football, I got uh, something I wanted to go over, and that is one of my favorite things, the GRU-7 ejection seats for the Tamiya Tomcat, or I guess really for any Tomcat, but for 148 scale. So we have a couple things here. I'm going to take a look at mostly some new things, and then we'll uh, take a look at some older stuff to go with it. But what we have here, these are all 3D printed. I'd say one of the leading ones for the beginning of kind of this new evolution of 3D printing uh, is the MCC Minicraft Collection. This is the late seat, and uh, what I'm going to do is we're just going to kind of go over this and we'll get into it, but um, I already went ahead and cut away the supports here, but that's the uh, MCC, comes in a nice little tin, some um, foam inside to protect it. Then we have Resar, and the reason I'm showing you two of these is this is how the original sets came. These are also the late seats basically the difference being the late what everyone calls a late seat has um the mesh cushions which really kind of started about it's the late 70s early 80s even and what the difference is is not the factory uh issued ribbed cushions that are so common in almost every model in fact i think the uh tamiya tomcat late f14a was the first one that actually did that in the kit so anyways these were the two versions this is how they originally came now i've ordered again and they've come in this much thicker packaging. So we'll take a look at those. And then finally, well, I think this is the newest one on the market. Uh, I did trim out Cajun one, but this is Ask, uh, Art Scale, uh, European company, and that is uh, their offering. So we'll take a look at all these. Bada boom, bada bing, be right back. Before we get much further, I totally forgot. I have another uh, set of things here, and that is, ta-da, the Galaxy Late F14 seat. And that is right there. So let's open this one up and add it to the pile. Now that we got everything unboxed, so we can take a good, better look at it. So uh, ResArm, uh, ArtScale, and MCC, they're all really nice just right off the bat. Uh, none of them give really much of a painting guide. You can see this is uh, what you get in the set. So let's go ahead and zoom in and start with one and see what we got. First off, let's go with the, let's go in order of how these got released. This is the MCC kit, and this is, um, they did do an early seat before this, which had rib cushions, a little bit different design. So this is their second release, and this is the late one with, you can see those, those mesh cushions. So let's take a good look at this sucker here. All right, you can see that the ejection handles down here are separate pieces and uh, fit onto the head box here. There's a... Uh, not a lot of space to put those ejection handles on the top, which, you know, might make painting easier, but uh, certainly brings a, you got to be careful putting those things on. Okay, here we go. Here's a look at uh, close up on the seat. You can see some really nice and subtle uh, pattern work there on the seat cushions. All right, you can see here, here's our head box and our seat. There's a lot going on here. Uh, I love this seat though. All right, here's our other seat. You can see that they've got different belt patterns on each seat. Uh, the one downside to this seat that I'm aware of is that people have said that it doesn't close, or if you close the canopy, it's a little bit too tall to fit uh, under the canopy on the Tamiya kit. So something to be aware of. I like open canopy kits but uh, something just to be aware of there. So look at, I mean, that's really fine detail. So that's a pretty awesome set. It's a kind of good look at their instructions. Uh, they give you extras of these little, uh, the locks here, which is really nice. So beautifully done. Um, that's a good look at those. I love this set. Um, let's go ahead and move on. Well, honestly, I actually filmed a segment for these, but unfortunately I don't know what happened to the footage. So we had to come back and open a set of them again these are awesome what is cool when we just look at the pictures here is the belts are different on them which is really kind of nice and they come in this cool little 3d box oh yeah i mean look at that the nice thing this also like the res arm seats has uh the ejection uh handles molded in Let's see if we can get in a little closer here. Look at that. 
It's got nice butt prints into the uh, cushion. The cushions are probably a little bit uh, I don't know, thinner than the other ones for sure. And I would say that if anything, the uh, the back uh, section over like here is a little, maybe a little anemic compared to the other ones. And bring in the stunt seat. Here you go. A little bit harder to see in this video than the other ones, but the detail is every bit as great as everything else. And here are the res arm seats. What's noted about these is they are all in one piece. So good luck. You have to mask the uh, injection pole handles here uh, to get the, the striping on that. It's a little bit of a tricky proposition sometimes. Moving right along, let's take a look at the art scale seat. Uh, there's a couple interesting things on this one that makes it different than the others. Let's start in nice and close. There's our uh, head box with nice, lots of nice little detail, and uh, you know, really nice detail on the on the seat cushions there. There's our belts. Okay, these are different than the other seats in a couple ways. One, the separate head box part here. Uh, I think this is really kind of cool because it has this big chunk for where the head box uh, for the ejection triangles, I'll show those in a second, go. So that's pretty nice. Um, other differences here are you can see this angle of the seat back. So I point to this angle here compared to the other ones is different. And now it's a little hard to see here, but uh, it's noticeable. And my take is, and I don't have any actual basis for this, but it looks to me like they almost base these off the Great Wall Hobby geometry. Um, and to me, that this this angle just looks too great. But man, look at those those belts. There's daylight between them, and uh, yeah, there's just a lot of great detail in there. Nice seats. Let's talk about this though. Okay. All right, here's our ejection triangles. Uh, they're not circular. They're kind of this other angle, which, yeah, you can see seats like that. They're usually basically in circles because it's tubes wound around. Um, but this, to me, looks a little bit more like what the Great Wall Hobby uh, design did. And I just, I'm just i just not the biggest fan of that. But there you go. You can see how nice that just fits right on there. All right, this head box angle, to me, uh, the way it kind of is, like, curved in, either is that this head box is kind of funky it's got this really hard curved angle that you that's just not the way the seat is necessarily but all right but when you put this on here uh that kind of gets hidden a little bit and there's a good overview of the three seats that we've taken a look at uh what i want to show you here though is these are uh some other things that just came out we have uh, from DXM, they have seats. What kind of nice thing with that is you've got uh, separate seat belts. However, uh, I don't have a set of those. Uh, let's talk price, okay? So since we have the art scale ones here, I also want to point out the art scale ones have both with and without belts. But you can see our euro and uh, cost. So <laughs> right now and here in the U.S., these seats are 22 bucks. Uh, when I bought them a few months ago, the euro was a little different, and they were right about $20, uh, but that's what we're looking at here. Another set of seats I don't have right now, hopefully we'll have soon, is the uh, the new Quinta. These are 3D printed. We can just take a look. All right, you can see here that these are 3D printed seats, uh, right also in the $20 range, uh, so kind of same with the art scale. All right, so our MCC seats, uh, these have gone up quite a bit in price as well. Uh, you can see here, $20 uh, US, and there's the older ones with the rib cushion. The, the seat box uh, design here is definitely different from the older one. Uh, they are working on a new set, so hopefully that's something that comes. Uh, I'm not sure I was supposed to say that, but... Uh, there you go. Moving on. And so here's our other seat, uh, the res arm seat. Everything has gone up in price in the last month or two, uh, unfortunately. So those are $10 US right now. They've uh, 
Uh, when I bought them, I think they were seven or eight dollars. With our Galaxy seat here, let's go ahead. This is actually a lucky model. I'm pretty sure this is the only place I've actually seen them. Some Great Wall Hobby specific ones, and then our Tamiya ones here, uh, thirteen dollars. So that's basically what they came out at. So that's a great deal. That These are our seats. Uh, what do I think? Well, price alone, given the state of everything right now and the way they are at the moment, uh, still by far the uh, the res arm seats. I think honestly, I think they are the best proportioned, best looking seat uh, of the three. The the one piece with the ejection triangles here makes painting I think a little tricky. Uh, I would love it if they included a separate one just as like a backup, but it's kind of a cool thing. Their F4 seats, they had both uh, originally were single piece. Now the second uh, run or the later runs have separate ejection handles, so that's a thought on that. You can also see that these are narrower. These uh. Art scale ask ones are pretty thick. I'm gonna have to see if they actually fit into the cockpit. Um, I like them. I think they're too expensive. Uh, although at this point, twenty dollars seems to be kind of the going rate for most of the things. These separate head boxes with the uh, with the thick uh, part on the bottom there, so that you have a lot of mounting area, is a great idea. That I give them kudos for. And then our MCC seats over here, um, you know, full disclosure, I was fortunate enough to help out on these. I love them. They went back and forth on designs a lot just to come up with what um, they felt was the best <laughs> the best version of it. Uh, spoiler alert, I have heard a rumor, this is not official, that they may be working on a new set uh, that uh, might kind of change the... Anyways, they might be working on a new set, so... All right, with the MCC seat, I did want to measure because people have said that they're too uh, high to fit in the canopy. I don't know that there is much difference in these other seats. So whether or not the other seats may have the same issue, I'm just trying to line up the bottom. In fact, these ask ones look even taller to me. Uh, the other thing being now, the width on the seat pans... Hmm, okay. All right, here is our ask and our res arm. You know what? It's definitely the seat cushions on the ask ones are much wider, but overall, I'm not seeing that the seat is going to be that much different. I just happen to have, ta-da, a Tamiya Tomcat tub. So let's put them in. Oh, yeah, those fit uh, with plenty of room. And now with our MCC seat, I, uh, I just cut it uh, down. I didn't cut the whole base off because that's actually going to require some sanding. But fit those in there. We're just looking at the width right now. Perfectly fine. Fits in there great. And now our art scale seat. And so, yeah, everything fits. All of them will go in here uh, perfectly fine. Height will uh, have to, you know, we can't judge that without the, the rest of the parts. Now let's take a look at a little bit of older stuff, and I'm going to give a big shout out to Mike uh, Reeves here, who does Phase Hanger. They were the first seats that I know of in any scale that had the uh, the pattern cushions. So that was a big deal, mastered by John Chung. I remember when those were getting worked on, that's a big excitement. These are resin cast. Um, I'm not sure Phase Hanger is doing any more resin cast. They've switched over pretty much all to. 3d print but maybe uh there's a file out there where he gets to remake these but so shout out to phase hanger for doing that then we're going to move on to our this is i would say this is the staple seat for well until just recently and this is the old verlinden resin seat the sucker as my camera wants to switch things up still uh a standard and an amazing piece and then we come to the Edward, which I think was kind of the first. I mean, Aries had a great seat there too, but I think Edwards was first kind of a modern generation, uh, what they call brass. And uh, so these have uh, mostly resin stuff. But what's so awesome, as you can see here, is that the you've got separate seat pans and separate seat back there, which is just makes it so nice to paint. Oh my God, I honestly... There's a lot of reasons to love this seat. 
and uh, it's really not that hard to throw on some uh, non-skid or paste or something on the uh, the seat cushion to make it the you know kind of the more modern one i don't have with me right now the all the photo etch that did the belts and the overhead uh pull handles which not a fan of photo etch for that but certainly saved you a lot of paintings all right well there you have it folks that's our look at the gru7 for the f14 ab tomcat hope you have a wonderful day thanks for uh, checking this out and we'll see you next time